Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. And I've never left this place. I have never left you. The attribute of God, of that which you would call the family, is multi places, multi times. We're everywhere all the time. And you might say, that's impossible. And we will say, indeed, in your perception, it is impossible. But the love of God is like a soup that you walk in. And as soon as you acknowledge the soup, you understand that no matter where you are, whether you are in the closet or on stage, the soup remains the same. And that is to say there is always that around you which loves you, which protects you. Because you push light and there is no dark thing that can invade that which the lighthouse produces. I would like to review a little bit about what was stated last night. You are in what we would call the energy of revelation. A planet that is slowly beginning to move from a place that you feel is normal, a paradigm that you feel is the way it always was and will be, into a place you didn't expect. It is a slow process that takes generations. But there has to be an acknowledgement of a shift. A place where the seeds are being planted so that the harvest will actually then produce that which is new and never been seen. You might say you are planting new foods on the planet which have never been even consumed. And that the old souls and the light workers are having a cooperative Gaia that is putting together an energy so that finally the seeds that you plant will grow big and tall and quickly. Whereas the ground before was not fertile. Whereas the seeds planted before would shrivel up for another day. Not be seen for their majesty, for their divinity, or for a change on earth. And that is the shift. Put in these metaphoric terms, we tell you that the earth is moving into a new paradigm. Last night we spoke of the concept of graduation. That when you reach the top level of class, you do not remain there. The teacher does not then continue to give you the same instructions all your life. Instead, you are put out of the classes and said, this is all you have and now you're on your own. And the planet for eons has been stuck in the top class. Indeed, it even is reflective in your own universities and schools for children. For if you'll take a look, you will find many of the textbooks are the ones you as adults used. Different covers, different illustrations, same concepts, same words sometimes. Even the ones you've learned to read when you were a child are being used for your grandchildren. Why rewrite them when human nature is always the same, they say. Why change the way you would teach children when human nature never changes, they say. And suddenly, you start to see that human nature is changing and humanity is evolving in consciousness. And that is the teaching of the day, of yesterday. And what does it mean to you right now as you sit here? Let me give you the practicality of it. The ones who sit in rooms like this all over the planet are the workers, the seed planters. You've heard the term light worker. That's you. And it's in the culture of everyday events that the seeds are sown. 
How quick are you to anger and judge? When you look in the eyes of a person you do not know, are you interested? Do you see them as part of the human test? Or do you see them as a stranger? How quickly does your heart care about the one that you sit next to that you only met yesterday? Now an old soul already knows the answers to these things because some of these things get the old souls in trouble. They're too quick to love, sometimes too open. And the trouble is that there would be those of an old energy who know what their light looks like and will go right to them <laughs> and trick them. And I'm going to tell you that even that is changing. The integrity of the light you have and the light that you carry is now being postured to sow seeds. And in the process, you're going to know what people are thinking around you if they're not thinking integrity thoughts. In other words, you have an intuitive detector for those who wish to harm you. You have an intuitive detector for those who wish to lie to you. There'll be those who say, well, well how, do I, how do I use that? How do I get it? What are the steps? And I'm going to tell you, you have it now. Why don't you start using it? As soon as you start exercising the muscle that I'm telling you you have, it gets bigger and stronger. And then you see it, and then you use it. If you always wonder when it's coming, it'll never happen. And so I guess what I'm telling you is that claim the things that are new and begin to use them as though they were always there. And that is the only way you will know if they exist at all. There are those in the room who in the culture you live in will be driving your vehicle looking for parking places exasperated that there are none and call upon the parking angel <laughs> and it'll work and you'll give away your power to some strange entity on top of your car <laughs> looking around for you giving you somehow some important pointing system so you'll know which way to turn. Some of you against all odds will even shut your eyes and do it. Hmm. <laughs> and it works. Sure enough, a space will open up. You'll pull the car in and you'll say, thank you, parking angel. Now I'm going to tell you something that my partner has taught for the last four years. There is no such thing as the parking angel. <laughs> Human beings, what you have done is to give away your power to a mythological figure that you believe is more powerful than you in order to guide you to a place you didn't know existed. A parking space that was out of your reach of sight and you did it all by yourself with your intuitive power. But because human beings don't believe that they can do that, you assigned it to the parking angel. And now it's time to assign it to you. And now it's time to not just use the parking angel, but the life angel. For there are puzzles here, both on stage and off stage, that cannot be solved in 3D. You cannot have an angel. This is going to take your responsibility away while you just follow it with your eyes closed. With your eyes open, standing tall, you're going to say, I'm going to turn left, I'm going to turn right, because that is where the puzzle is solved. And you will know this, and as you do it and make some mistakes, you'll understand what the feelings are that will guide you to the proper area. We are speaking now of intuitive emotional response. Higher than it ever was before. A multi-dimensional feeling that interacts with your DNA field. I'm going to talk about that tonight. It may sound scientific tonight, but it is not. It's about what 
The system is around you that allows you to do what I'm speaking of now. To walk from this place knowing that you can affect that which is around you because you can sense things. The potentials of what might happen. It gives you an edge to solve problems around you that others may feel they cannot because they're not able and you are. When you start hooking into a multi-dimensional energy you hook into the potentials of humanity, of family, even of the parking lot. and That is why it works. Can you see what this might mean for you? You plant the seeds of this by your actions and by your doing and your light becomes brighter and you're more comfortable with it. What brought you here in the chair? Some of you could hardly wait to get here. Others of you vacillate a little and some of you last moment and a switch was thrown and you said I'm going and I'll tell you it's the last minute comers that I want to talk to. You know how it works. <laughs> you got a signal. Now it's not about coming to a metaphysical meeting. What about a signal given when you need to turn right and left in life? And you don't know what to do. And that is what we're trying to tell you. That the new tools being given to you are going to make your life more comfortable. Because you trust them. And all that is being said on this stage by all of those who are saying it are speaking about the same thing. A shift in energy that allows manifestation in the human spirit. And you're going to see it personally. You're going to see it in cultures. You're even going to see it in government. There come a day when you look back on the way your society works right now as a human being on earth and you're going to say, ah, that's barbaric. <laughs> because it doesn't suit you anymore. There'll be a softness, a respect, integrity even in politics. That will be the day, you say. <laughs> and when it starts to occur, I want you to remember this meeting. And you'll say, he's right. I never thought it would take place. We're starting to see shift. And it won't be because everyone suddenly is a light worker. It'll be because you planted the seeds and showed the way. And your children saw it and their children saw it. And eventually the earth starts to shift because Gaia is fertile for you. Tonight. We speak about your DNA yet again in personal ways, giving you some information that is both technical and spiritual. All empowering, all about the shift before you for light workers all. And there's only one reason Cryon exists. I walked into my partner's life. Just about 18 years ago. He says he'd been doing it for 23 years. He hasn't. He was only experimenting for a while. <laughs> He's really only been doing this for 18 years. That's when he took my hand. And before he just danced. And if you take a look at those around him and the other channelers that perhaps would come and go and the scientists who would be on a stage like this talking to you about these things, it all falls into those windows. 18 to 20 years ago, they all awoke up. This is the grand alignment, the 36 year window that we speak of. You're right in the middle of it. Take a look. Take a look at what has happened to you in the last 18 years. Or some of you are sitting here well within that time frame. It is a shift of energy on this planet, a decision point. And that is why you sit where you do. There's a lot of coincidence here.
and one of them is the timing. And so the day begins and the teaching begins and I'll be back. And so it is.